Most clinical research coordinators spend their days organizing research documents, consenting patients, gathering data, and ultimately keeping the trains running on time. Being a great research coordinator does require you to intimately understand the problems that are within medicine so that you can explain it to lay people. I also find that most people underestimate how difficult it is to truly consent to patients. Remember that patients are at the hospital or in clinic because they are sick and convincing them to do anything extra in a season where they're most vulnerable and a lot is up in the air teaches you how to truly communicate. We have a student whose research involves looking at a patient's biomarker after they've had a heart attack. And he writes about how walking into those rooms, speaking to a patient who wasn't sure if they were going to be alive in the last couple of hours, seeing family members go through the reality that it any point in time their loved one could drop dead, that certainly is not an easy room to have a conversation. But he writes about how he realized that at the core of all the clinical research, at the center of all the data, were real people and real families experiencing real illness. That's a very strong, mature takeaway and a very nuanced perspective on what medicine means to so many people. On top of all this, most clinical research coordinators work full time and they're paid to do it. So you can rack up a ton of hours and keep yourself afloat while in it. But to be fair, most clinical research coordinators do not spend a lot of time doing clinical experiences. It's certainly not a traditional clinical experience, and most of the time it's computers and logistics work. Being a clinical research coordinator is a great role, but it is not perfect, so it gets a B.